Happy New Year's Eve day, everyone. It's Tuesday morning. I am back from just running some errands. Today, you might be seeing my what I got for Christmas video either today or tomorrow. Either way, you're seeing this at the very start of the new year. Um, but uh, yeah, back from running errands. Steven is running some errands and we are going to have a low key New Year's Eve. We're going to talk a little bit today around how I'm planning for 2020. Um, we're also going to talk about uh, themes for the year and words for the year and a quote for the year. I'm gonna share mine with you um, so you can see a little bit of that inspiration. And that's what's going on. Update on the vases. I'm actually really liking them now that I've moved the trees out of the way and kind of neutralized all the like other accessories. Like, I just think I'm starting to like it. Just wait till you see the new mirror I got for behind the stove. It is amazing and it was the perfect dimensions. I cannot believe I found it. I cannot wait to share it with you. I also think that will like make me like the vases a lot more. Um, and then, the other way I attempted to tie the vases in more is I bought another one and I put it down here so it kind of connects uh, those two living spaces together. Um, but yeah, everything's really, really neutral, except for that blanket. I also am obsessed with the pillow combination on the couch. Like, doesn't that just like make you want to just cuddle up with a good book? Especially that one right there with the fringe on the side. The flower arrangements are still going strong. Replaced all the water with them this morning. And the Nest Candle, I mean, we're gonna finish it off tonight, I think. Looky what Bubby got today. Bubba's got, well, if he, we want him to match the theme of the house, which is tans and creams and beiges, so we got him this little set of food dishes. He's not had a new food dish in forever. He's been using the same Mackenzie Childs one since, ugh, oh, maybe 2010, 2000, 11 2000 I, I would say 2009 uh, 2010 anyway new decade new dog dishes for Bubby I needed some more veggies Steven and I are gonna have a veggie tray and hummus tonight gonna make a couple appetizers from Trader Joe's and then I'm making like a curry chickpea um, and rice but we need some unhealthy things so I'm going to whip us up a quick funfetti cake and I got us candles to make a wish for 2020. I thought that'd be a little cute touch. I went ahead and threw on some comfortable clothes. Um, I'm also wearing my Find What Feels Good um, sweatshirt from uh, Yoga with Adrian here on YouTube. She's starting her January challenge. I'm gonna leave her information linked down below. I do it every January. I absolutely love it. I love her. I still do her videos throughout the year. Um, it's completely free um, and it's a great way to introduce yourself to yoga. She makes you feel so welcomed and it's just, it's just great. I also just got this from Amazon. It's a drawer storage cabinet dresser thing for my closet. I like revamped the organization of my closet. Um, so that's gonna be going in there. Bubby, what do you think? Oh, it looks gorgeous. You needed to organize those clothes. I, on the other hand, keep all my clothes organized. What's out there? Do you see anything? Looky. Like this is literally where he spends his day. You're such a good boy. Do you see anything out there? Do you see anything? Who's there? And like, he will sit here and just lay and watch out the window all day. Oh, here we go. I put together the storage unit that came. It literally took me less than 30 minutes to build and I am so happy with it. For the purpose that I need it for, it is perfect. Also, the drawers are really deep. They're blocked so they can't go through. I mean, the quality is really good for such a low price. Also, this is the new TV, but look what it does. So it matches your wall color, and then you can do like different art designs. How cool. Technology, what will they think of next? Wanted to share with you kind of where I'm at for 2020. 
I've kind of moved away, I would say last year around like resolutions um, and more towards like making a theme for the year or a um, word of the year, kind of like We are getting a, an emergency alert. Snow squall warning till 2 p.m. Sudden whiteouts, icy roads, slow down. Um, but um, I moved a little bit away from resolutions and more towards like a quote of the year and then a couple words for the year. The reasoning behind that was, you'll hear Bubba's barking upstairs, is because I found that like anything that I wanted to like resolve to change, I could kind of embody within a theme or a central quote. And this year I've done like a lot of reflecting and what were the things that I wanted to focus on. Um, and three words kept coming to mind. It was rise, presence, and hustle. The reason I felt like they embodied everything is if I thought about family and friends or wellness and fitness or career, whether it is YouTube or other, um, I kept going back to like be present, hustle, and rise. Um, so that's kind of where I landed. Those are my three words for the year that I'm going to really embody. And I kind of am calling it, this is the year of rising, um, and being better, um, and making more of an impact. And I'm excited to do that here. Um, I have some plans for 2020 that I'm excited to start sharing with you. Um, but I'm really feeling inspired and committed to developing this part of my career as well. And it's going to be the year of rising. But then I landed on this quote, write it on your heart, that every day is the best day in the year. Ralph Wald Emerson. I can't recommend this enough. This life planner is just incredible. The, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the first squall is definitely moving in. It's like sleeting and snowing and it's like a weird mix of things. You're gonna actually see the ice accumulating on the step. Oh my, I hope everyone is being safe and careful. Thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, the paint looks splotchy over there because I just put the one coat on and it's still drying. But this is the new TV. Don't know what I'm gonna be doing all around it. Things are happening. But I have that little like floor cushion area for meditating. Um, we brought this up from the kitchen nook that's been there forever. Um, so we brought up here because it matches my furniture and then that little West Elm Mongolian fur um, stool. So this is where we're at right now. I am making curry and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have a recipe, but I will tell you what I'm doing. Um, so medium low heat and I'm just gonna throw some olive oil in here. Um, the reason I don't have um, a recipe is because I do my curry a little differently every single time. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So, also this is my favorite invention ever. This Chef and Go chopper. I use it multiple times a week. I've had it for, I was just telling Steven, I think I had this when we lived in our house in Charlotte. And it has held up i use it constantly throw it in the dishwasher it's the best thing so in here i did shallots because i like a little milder onion flavor in my curry so i did like two very large shallots two really big cloves of garlic and then about a maybe like a half an inch piece of ginger got the onions and garlic and ginger going as they're going this is when i add some of my spices so this is my little spice tin. I will leave one similar from Amazon link below. I'm gonna add two big spoons of fennel because I really like fennel in my curry. So I'm gonna add some fennel. I'm also going to add some coriander. We're gonna add some turmeric and then smoked paprika. The reason you want to um, add your spices now is that when they heat up, they actually bloom and release more of their Leave. All right, to this, I'm going to add three cans of chickpeas. Actually, it's two and a half. If you remember from the vlog just the other day, um, I saved half a can. My favorite tomatoes are the Muir Glen organic diced tomatoes. There's no salt added, um, and they're just, every time I get them, 
They're just so good. One thing you missed is I did add the littlest splash of water just to thin out the sauce a little bit. And now I'm super excited because this was sent as a Christmas gift from one of you, the Madras curry powder from Oaktown Spice Shop. Um, one thing you should know about curry is that every region has its own. So no curry powder is going to be necessarily the same, except like a stock one from a grocery store, but like any good curry powder will be different depending on where you go. Oh my gosh, it smells unreal. So I'm just gonna incorporate this curry powder into this. We'll check back on that later. The curry is pretty well cooked. I'm going to hit it with, look how delicious that looks. I'm going to hit it, not with this whole can, but probably half of the can of coconut milk. I'm also going to hit it with just a little bit of honey. It helps break up some of the acidity from so much tomato. And then just as it finishes, I will hit it with um, some lime juice and then serve it with lime wedges. I'm also gonna pre-chop some parsley for on top. Most curries would top with um, cilantro, but I don't love cilantro. Come on down, Happy New Year. This is Bubba's favorite holiday. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Look what I did. Wow. Looky. He's such a pretty boy. As far as it looked. Hey. Oh, what do you have? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Nothing. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Look how beautiful this looks. I mean, it looks so good. With leftover um, chana masala, some things I love to do with it. It is great, and it sounds weird, in a baked potato. Like instead of sour cream and stuff and all that, just put this on top of your baked potato. So good. All right, dinner is served. Does it get any cooler on a New Year's Eve than doing your laundry? That's what I'm doing. Things are about to get even crazier. So I did laundry. Now I'm going to sort through two drawers of like DVDs and stuff and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not. I thought for sure I would find him on the couch asleep. Oh, did you hear me? Yes. What are you doing? Uh, I'm working. I'm what a New Year's. I'm, I'm writing a legal brief. Look, we have snow. Not a lot, but a little bit. Make a wish. Okay. Go. <sighs> it is 11 o'clock and he has been working all night. Mm -hmm. he, has, he has his office. I'll sit up. He was reading a brief on the couch. The dog has been asleep. I've been cleaning and organizing. It has been one happening New Year's Eve. <laughs> we barely touched any of the food, like hardly touched any of it. The curry was really good. In other really exciting news, the Christmas candle is near the end of its life but it has been amazing. I did some calculations. I got somewhere between 275 and 300 burn hours out of this candle, so well worth it. Plus, the vase is so pretty. So, throw that in the dishwasher when I'm done and use it for something. We're watching CNN's New Year's Eve, which is a little bit of a hot mess, but we will stick it out. He is filling lively. Bubby is ready to ring in the new year <laughs> with a bang. He's resting for midnight. So it's 15 minutes until the new year and Bubba's just walked upstairs. Hey, where, where do you think you're going? It's your favorite holiday. Bubby, what are you doing? Back down here. You have 15 minutes. You go see peas? You can't poop out now. Come on All right, you can. 
You can enjoy the merriment from the landing. And Bubby didn't last. He went upstairs. At that place. Well, how long were you there? Bubba, sit down there. And we heard him jump up into our bed. So that's his New Year's. Are you really going to go try to get him? No, I'm going to go see if he's on that. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy you came New Year. down! Happy, Happy, New New Year. Year. Happy, New Year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Looky! Hats Happy on! New Year. Happy New Year! Uh-oh. My ears are in the way. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. It is around 1 a.m. I finished editing the What I Got for Christmas video. I have it scheduled to go live at 7.15. Um, Steven is already asleep upstairs. I am going to head off to bed tomorrow. That tree is going down. We start our yoga journey with yoga with Adrian and all the things. All right, see you guys in the morning. was snoring so loud I could either lay there wide awake or start the day so it's gonna be a tiring day but I can nap there's no rush to do anything but I was like I'm gonna be productive if I'm gonna do this so I already went ahead and took down the Christmas tree all right I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee I am in my office I lit some candles I have some incense burning I have my yoga mat and I am just going to chill and start um, the home series with Yoga with Adrian. Um, it's a January challenge. I'm going to start that today. Today she won't really do like a big lesson. It'll be more like introducing. So I'm just going to play one of her other videos and do that one as well. Um, but yeah, going to do this, have some time for me. And that's going to be the start of 2020 for me. Such great vibes right now. So I am sitting here in my office. I just finished about 30 minutes of yoga and just like was actually just doing a lot of reflecting and thinking because this isn't exactly how I thought my New Year's Day was going to go. I had like this crazy plan to be at the gym by five, do an insane workout, and then kind of create this unrealistic expectation for myself for the rest of the year um, and I think we so often do that and so many times we'll just let ourselves down or create things that are just not sustainable so my challenge for you is to find what works and don't go crazy just find what works and that makes you just a little bit better because a little bit better over a long period of time makes you really better but really great for a very inconsistent amount of time really yields no result. So I think that's my challenge to you. I think I'm going to go for an easy two mile run and that's going to be enough today. And there will be crazy workouts because I enjoy them, but, um, keep it realistic. I'll tell you what, my friends, I've been much bigger and I've been way too thin. And right now I'm somewhere in the middle and I do know that I'm not where I want to be, um, but I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm going to take you guys along with me. So just be a little bit better over a more sustained period of time. It'll yield much better results. Back from my run, I kept it really quick. Two miles, um, good pace. It is freezing outside, so I'm going to go warm up with a hot shower. And then we'll catch up again. I am all cleaned up um, <coughs> and warm. I'm going to go ahead and start editing this vlog and see how the footage is looking. And um, I posted something on Instagram that you guys are loving, so I thought I'd share it here too. Um, I simply said like, this time next year, 
You can either be celebrating things that you wanted to achieve or making the same resolutions over again. <laughs> and I know so many of us have done that. So um, use that as a, a little bit of a motivation for 2020. All right, I'm going to, every time I say 2020, I'm like, I'm Baba Walters and this is 2020. Um, I am going to get off here and edit and see where we're at and then we will catch up again later. I'm preparing to wrap up this vlog, but I told you I had exciting things coming for 2020. Um, and one of them is going to start today and it's something if you want you can get your hands on so many of you have asked me to design something that you can purchase and I did that um, a little bit before December um, and have been sitting on it and wanted to make sure that I ordered some could see the quality all of that but I'm really excited to share this with you. And the fact that maybe one person would buy it is just the coolest thing ever. Um, but I'm gonna show you the three designs. You can make them however you want. You can customize the color, any of it, literally all the things. Um, I don't know where I'll start. Um, so we'll start with the first one. And it's this design right here. It seems quite fitting. And it says doing all the things. Um, and then below it says Christopher Allen. So maybe you've been teasing me that I say doing all the things all the time. Um, so that is this one. Another one, and this is probably my favorite. Um, I can't believe it. I think it turned out so well too. Um, it just has the word take. And then on the top it says care of yourself. And then it says care of others. Oh, I love it. And then lastly, um, and I got it in the style of a hoodie. It is um, just the quote that I end every video with. So, uh, yeah. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Um, these are linked down below. If you want to, uh, go get some and uh, share and tag me. And I'm really excited. Just one person, that's all I need. One person to buy it. Um, this is something that uh, so many of you have asked me to do. And I've sat on it and sat on it and sat on it. And I'm like, 2020 is the year I say yes and I'm doing things. Um, so this is just the first of many things to come. And I'm super excited. Um, and I'm going to end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.